Greetings students from the Revis Kindness Club. This is Mr. Kostopoulos, the principal at Revis, and I'm just here uh, to first of all say congratulations on all of the hard work um, that has been completed through this Kindness Club uh, with Mrs. DeGraspino. I also want to give a big thank you to Mrs. DeGraspino for all of her hard work in instilling um, and promoting all of the kindness initiatives um, that you've grown up with throughout the years and reinforcing that. Um, I want to let you know that I did see all of your videos, all of your artwork um, that was presented on Seesaw, and I'm just so, so very proud of all of you. Um, not only for what you've shown with your talents in regards to your artwork or your presenting, um, but also to the message of kindness and love that you are spreading uh, through being part of this program. Um, it is very, very, very important work. And it gives me great pleasure uh, to see, you know, how you are developing as uh, great individuals and spreading love and joy throughout, not just our school at Revis, but eventually our world. So you're gonna make a great difference in our society. Just keep up the lessons learned in this program. Behind me is one of our great bulletin boards that I believe Mrs. DeGraspino um, took part in putting together. And it says, spring showers bring pretty flowers. So, um, you know, those spring showers right now are all of those words and messages of kindness and peace that you are sending. And the pretty flowers to come um, are gonna be the great society that you are gonna be a part of in building and making a great place for all of us um, as the world turns, as they say. So keep up the great work. Keep spreading the kindness message and being difference makers here at Revis and in the world as you grow out, as you grow older. Thank you and keep it up. This story is called Words in Your Heart by Kate Jane Neal. This book is about your heart. The little bit inside of you that makes you, you. Will you listen very carefully? Because it's really important. And it might help you be a happier you and the people around you be a happier them. You see the words that go in your ears can actually affect your heart. The little bit inside of you that makes you, you. Your words can do amazing things. Words and Your Heart by Kate Jane Neal. They can describe things if they are big or if they are little. They can explain so, so you can understand that it goes with whoosh. Boom! Or pin, stickle pin. Words can make you happy and make you want to sing. This book is about words in your heart, written by Kate Jane Neal. But sometimes words can make us cry. We all know what sort of words those are. You see, sometimes words can be like a deadly arrow. That can really pierce someone's heart. The little bit inside of them that makes them them. Some words can really hurt. Words have power. They can change the way someone's heart feels. The little bit inside of them that makes them them. If someone feels sad, your words can cheer them up. Words in your heart make Kate near old dead. If someone feels weak, your words can help them feel stronger. If someone wants to give up, your words can help them keep going. Your words can make them giggle, can make them grin, can make them laugh out loud and roll around. Do you get it? How about we use our words to look after each other's hearts? The little ones, the little bit inside of us that makes us, us. Let's try to do it together and see the difference it can make. Today, somebody's world can be a better place because of you. Thank you. Doesn't that make your heart feel good?
Hi boys and girls and the high families from my Rubbis Kindness Program. This is Mrs. DeGrispino. I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you to all of you. Without so many people, this program would never have been possible. Thank you to Dr. Schilling and the Lansing Board of Education for their support of this program. Thank you to Mr. Kostopoulos and Mrs. Booth for their support and encouragement. Thank you to our wonderful tech department. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Lisak and Mr. Zalid. And thank you to the parents and families. Without you, this definitely wouldn't have happened. I appreciate all the many times that you reminded your kids and encouraged them with their parts and, and helped them to make their videos. But most of all, thank you for your example of peace and kindness each and every day. And boys and girls, Without you, we certainly wouldn't have had this program. Your peace and your kindness, not only that show during our classes, but in these, these wonderful videos, we hope that the messages that you learned and that you will take all of this and you'll share this peace and kindness and continue to grow all of your lives. Boys and girls, when we first started this program, we quickly realized that we had to find some new ways to share peace and kindness with one another in our classes, ways to learn. And so we did. We found some new and awesome ways to do that. And that's, that's why we have this program today. But boys and girls, the other thing is, is we learned um, so much about the importance of the words that we use in the book, Words in Your Heart by Kate Jane Neal, which you have done an awesome job of telling the story in this program. Boys and girls, the, the words we use have so much power. Um, they can do amazing things. Speaking kindly is something that we will practice each and every day of our lives. And we'll make mistakes, but we'll learn and we'll get better. So just remember, if your words are kind and they're gonna help someone, they will make our world a better place. Practice using those words. Always remember your one small voice singing out words of kindness is just what our world needs. And so I end with, our, with one of our favorite songs, certainly one of my favorites. Think about it, boys and girls. And remember, as you sing this song with me, remember your one small voice truly can help the world be a kinder place. With just one small voice singing out a song. With just one small voice singing sweet and strong. One by one they'll grow and together sing along. And then soon all the world will be singing with just one small voice singing out a song with just one small voice singing sweet and strong one by one they'll grow and together sing along and then soon all the world will be singing. Thank you, boys and girls. Sing your song.